Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. FAA orders no drone zones, over 133 military facilities. What's up with Stratobus? And FAI signs agreement with Freedom Drone Sports. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. The FAA is using its existing authority under 14 CFR 99.7 Special Security Instructions to address national security concerns about unauthorized drone operations over a current total of 133 military facilities. This is the first time the agency has instituted airspace restrictions that specifically apply only to unmanned aircraft. The FAA and DOD have agreed to restrict drone flights up to 400 feet within the lateral boundaries of these 133 facilities. The restrictions will be effective April 14, 2017, with limited exceptions. Operators who violate the airspace restrictions may be subject to enforcement action, including potential civil penalties and criminal charges. To ensure the public is aware of these restricted locations, the FAA has created an interactive map online. The link to these restrictions will also be included in the FAA's Before You Fly mobile app within the next 60 days. Section 2209 of the FAA Extension Safety and Security Act of 2016 also directs the Secretary of Transportation to establish a process to accept petitions to prohibit or restrict UAS operations over critical infrastructure and other facilities. The DOT and the FAA are currently evaluating options for implementation. The FAA is considering additional requests for restrictions using the FAA's 99.7 authority. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. AUVSI has announced the keynote lineup for Exponential 2017, which will take place at the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center in Dallas from May 8th through the 11th, 2017. The keynote program will be hosted by the Weather Channel's Jim Cantor and will feature Intel CEO Brian Cranich, FAA Administrator Michael Huerta, Virginia Governor Terry McLaughlin, and executives from Airbus Defense and Space, GE Oil and Gas, and Northrop Grumman. AVSI President and CEO Brian Wynn will open the program on Tuesday, May 9th. Independent insurance agents and brokers can now benefit from the Transport Risk Management Innovation Unmanned Risk Management Alliance Insurance Program. Over the next 90 days, additional insurers will be offering quotations and policy issuance directly through the Unmanned Risk Management Submission Suite, allowing agents and insured to access the entire market through a single point. The Kentucky Legislature is considering legislation that would allow the creation of unmanned aircraft facility maps at any airport that is authorized under Part 139 of the FARS. The legislation adds a new chapter to its existing airport regulations that says any commercial airport may prepare an unmanned aircraft facility map. In preparing the map, a commercial airport shall consult with the FAA Air Traffic Control Tower at the airport. Over the next three weeks, a driverless shuttle will be tested in London, as approximately 100 people will get the opportunity to ride in a prototype shuttle developed by a company called Oxbotica. The vehicle, which is being tested under the $8 million pound gateway project, will travel up to 10 miles per hour along a two-mile route near the O2 Arena. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. During the 2014 Talus Innovation Days, the Stratobus concept was introduced and has been compared to other concepts from Zeppelins and drones to Google's Loon Balloons. But in fact, Talus said Stratobus is neither a drone nor a satellite, but a stratospheric airship that combines the best of both worlds. The program was officially launched in 2016. Jean-Philippe Chessel, director of the Stratobus product line at Talus Alenia Space, said Stratobus is an autonomous multi-mission stratospheric ship midway between a drone and a satellite. Marking a real break with existing systems, Stratobus is considered part of the HAPS High Altitude Pseudo-Satellite family. Stratobus operates at an altitude of 20 kilometers and is designed for a wide range of civil or military regional applications. Quote, Stratobus could be used for surveillance missions, including land, 
maritime, oil platforms, piracy at sea, etc., it is also highly suited to environmental monitoring missions. For observation missions, Stratobus can carry both radar and optical imaging payloads, which gives it continuous surveillance capability day or night and under all weather conditions, Chesel said. Stratobus will weigh nearly 7 metric tons and measure 115 meters long and 35 meters in diameter at the widest point. The FAI and Freedom Drone Sports have signed a Memorandum of Understanding, signaling a new step in the development of drone racing. The two organizations have committed to working together to help develop drone racing in a responsible and safe way. That includes licensing pilots, developing rules of racing, certification of drones, track design, social responsibility, gender equality, and accredited training of all parties including officials. Quote, I am very happy to welcome our new collaboration with Freedom Drone Sports, said Fritz Brink, president of the FAI. Drone racing is a fast-developing new air sport discipline, and the FAI is very pleased to be working together with new partners in this way. I look forward to seeing the first races and competitions and watching the sport develop. The FAI is responsible for sanctioning air sports competitions internationally. As part of the memorandum, the FAI will undertake necessary actions to recognize Freedom Class Giant Drone Sports. Freedom Drone Sports will help to develop a structural environment, while the FAI will sanction competitions in the new class. Both will focus on ultimately developing an FAI-sanctioned World Championship Series, including the presence of Freedom Drone Sports at the first International Drone Conference and Expo the 1st through the 3rd of September 2017. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Brian Wynn, President and CEO of AUVSI, inviting you to witness the evolution of unmanned technologies at AUVSI's Exponential 2017 on May 8th through the 11th in Dallas, Texas. Exponential is the premier trade event dedicated to drones and robotics. See more than 650 manufacturers and solution providers in the largest exhibit hall this industry has to offer. Join us for more than 200 hours of sessions on key topics and issues such as commercial unmanned applications, public policy and legislation, beyond visual line of sight operations, counter UAS systems, data management, women and diversity in robotics, and much, much more.